Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. お前らは鬼となり、それは白状な施設もあった。この喫茶店は僕のお気に入りでね。君は死後の世界ってあると。I play Baral, Chief of Compliance. He decreases the cost of my instants and sorceries by one colorless mana. And whenever I counter one of your spells, I can draw a card and then discard a card. It's, uh, his character gets stabbed by, I forget the name of the character, uh, like, uh, it's like a little plane card. What was his name? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, so, he was complaining about that scene, and the audience turned against him. I've never seen anything like it. They're like, no, no, we love him. We love him. He was just a silly little guy. He was just playing around. The look on Max's face, you guys, was the best. He was just like, I'm not sorry. Actually, I will say, Jono in Mongo Street Dogs is the first character I've ever had, I think, where people are like, this guy's. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I, love, I do love the interaction between the characters. It's basically well known to like, hey, you're under arrest, and my character's like, for what? And he's like, the crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm just gonna break this. 
Fantastic. So we Welcome to the pet. <coughs> Shut up! <coughs> Who would win in a fight? Gojo or Dazai? Uh, <laughs> Look, I love Gojo. I love Dazai. He wouldn't win that fight. <laughs> no, there's no way. There's no way. Okay, so Dazai, even if somehow his power worked on Gojo, right? He needs to touch him. He needs to make physical contact with someone. Even if somehow the universe's power system like synergized, right? He could take Gojo's infinity away. I, I guess he'd have to wait till he was asleep. I don't know if Gojo's thing even turns off when he's asleep, you know? Yeah, I don't think he's winning that fight. I think he would maybe win a, a war of quits, you know? Maybe like a, a, an intellectual battle, but um, no, not a not, 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 not. <laughs> Gazai and Gojo are practically the same character. <laughs> <laughs> they would be best friends, probably. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> what was the most fun scene to voice over for both of these characters? Oh, man. Um, I, had a really, I had a really good time with the uh, Bungo Straight Off shorts, the little minis. Uh, that, I thought that was a really cute show. I, I loved um, the scene in, in that show where uh, Gazai calls Kunikita a green onion. There's like that, you know, it, it, American audiences won't really get it, but it's like this is it's this pun in Japanese. Basically, he's calling him like kind of like a housewife, right? So, so um, we that was a really hilarious scene because no one else will get it. It's just me and the director. It's like, ha, 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 he's got it. I don't know. Um, but in in Jujutsu Kaisen, the Juju Stroll on episode 23 with the uh, you know, Formation B was probably the most I've laughed in a long time recording anime because all oh, poor Megumi is like him and like the one brain cell that the three others share between them, you know, it's, and he has to deal with that. That was, that was a good thing. What would you like to see the future of voice acting evolve to? Ooh, that's, a, <laughs> that's an interesting question. Um, so there... Hopefully not filled with AI voices. <laughs> there is there is there is a slight danger in that right now because there are so many programs out there right now that can basically um, you can feed someone's voice into it and they can just replicate their mannerisms, their speech patterns. It's very impressive. It's very impressive tech. However, you know, of course there's this, you know, stirring in the community where like these robots gonna take our turns. I can see AI tech doing stuff like commercial reads and like maybe maybe audiobooks, right? But hopefully, um, hopefully they won't replace the flesh and blood actors. You know, selfishly, hopefully they won't. Um, but we're still a bit away from an AI making actual acting choices. Uh, so we'll see if the technology gets there. Uh, it'll be interesting if it does. We'll see what kind of transition that will have and what kind of impact that will have on the industry itself. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I think it's too early to tell. Fingers crossed. I still have a job in ten years. <laughs>
Sophia, you are such a wonderful human being. Go to hell. No, you're forgetting something, Chuya. Next time you won't be so lucky. You won't be so lucky. Jeez, you can at least look. Hey, you wanna maybe tell me what's going on, asshole? Sorry, would you mind not talking to me right now? I'm busy breathing. Did you just call me a shrimp, you asshole? <laughs> I'm only 15 years old. I'm still growing, damn it! Hey, oh! Don't forget our little bet. Remember, we said whoever loses has to obey the winner's orders just like a dog obeys its master. <laughs> Now, what ingenious thing could I have you do? I thought for sure I was gonna win! Hmm? What's wrong? Just shut up for a second, okay? Hmm? Oh, look who it is. They're wearing those blue bracelets. They must be sheep members, right? Is there a problem I don't know about? Does this seem like a good time for them to see me? Hey, Chuya Nakahara, come on! Let's hurry and get to work! Boss's orders, you know! What are you, a mental case? Shut up, damn it! I don't mean to lump a group of people in a hive. I think I just met my dad in 1985. My dad!